morning, my lovelies. Hello. <laughs> Why are you so dismal? Come on. <laughs> I have lots of reasons to be dismal today. Right. It's quite a serious day for, for you guys and for us. Um, reading the internet now, honestly, mm -hmm. this virus thing's just... I'm sick of hearing about it. <laughs> I'm sick of reading comments in, in his videos about it. I'm sick of everything about it, but now... I read last night that Netflix have reduced the quality of their videos. Basically, everyone's staying indoors now. And they're using the internet more. So yeah. they're trying to uh, make it a bit easier for the internet providers by reducing the quality of the videos so they're using less gig, you know, less data. Uh -huh. And now you've just shown me three, yeah. our, our internet <laughs> provider, three in Ireland are putting a cap on how much data you can't have unlimited data basically now. we want unlimited data aren't we and now they reduce not only reducing it but they're capping it as well aren't yeah. they or something which will mean <laughs> we can't upload videos every day mm. so we haven't had any emails about it we haven't noticed it yet but if that becomes the case if they say you can't use more than 50 gigabytes a month or whatever Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a problem because we use a good 100, <laughs> 120 a month at least. Wow. So, fingers crossed it won't affect uh, us videos. Hope not, gosh. <laughs> but on a brighter note, yeah, um, well, yeah, mm. we're in a nice place. I like it here. I've got a good vibe. It feels a bit seasidey, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah. We're right next to a palm tree, a palm tree right outside this door. And beautiful sea and there's a navy ship over there. Uh, we're just going to take a walk, aren't we? On the seafront. Seafront? Yeah. On the front. Yeah. Because uh, there's, I don't know, the, the Titanic set off from here, right? When it set off on its voyage, it set off from here, just over there. Uh -huh. So we're going down there because there's something called, the, I think it's the JFK Memorial Garden. And I'm expecting a lot of like plaques and a lot of Titanic things okay. over there. So we'll go check that out, yeah? Yeah. I was just telling Mazzy that what I'm missing is like, you know, like little caravans what sell hot, hot dogs, dogs and burgers. Yeah. I'd love to go up to one of them now and just get a hot dog, but I, I don't think there'll be any around here. And if I don't know if they're all shut down or not. Anyway, how long's three and a half minutes yeah. talking rubbish? Come on, let's get on with this. Mazzy? Yeah? Just stand next to that for me. Yeah. I just want to show them how small it is. <laughs> what use is that? Nobody can fit inside that rubber ring, not even a baby. It's tiny, tiny little thing. So this is where we are, it's just outside Cork. I do not know how to pronounce this place. Is it Cobb? I'm guessing it's just Cobb. Uh, where are we? Where are we, Mazzy? Any uh, ideas? Is it there? Oh, where are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're there, we're just gonna walk up here and we're heading to this area. Just have a quick look around here. Now you noticed this, didn't you? I did. <laughs> and he says it looks a bit like the Titanic, and I think it's meant to. This thing here, it, it looks like the Titanic chimney, and there is actually smoke coming out of the top of there. We're not sure what the building is. Maybe the railway station, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Bitly cold this morning, isn't it? You're gonna come out without a coat on. I know. It is freezing, <laughs> absolutely freezing. Woke up to full sun this morning and it was actually really pleasant, but it's getting worse now. We've got the Heritage Centre here. Yeah. I was reading, it's £10 each to get in when it's open. It's not open at the moment because of the coronavirus uh, until 29th of March minimum, same as pubs. Um, I still think that's a lot personally for a day out. I bet it's a good one though. It looks quite big. And it'll be all about the Titanic. There'll be a lot of Titanic stuff in there. Have you told the guys this is sort of Titanic area then, or...? I think so. Well, I don't know. This is where the Titanic set off from. Um, yeah, I'm sh pretty sure I've told them. In fact, there's a statue here. This will be to do with the Titanic. Can I just show the guys the boat? It's so cool. Oh, this is probably like one of the tour boats, isn't it, to the island? Mm, is it? Doesn't, doesn't look very toury. Oh, it might be, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. E.T. phone <laughs> home. I think he's about to nick your hat, honey. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> I don't really know what this is about. This isn't about the Titanic. Oh, is 
isn't it? No. Yeah, we'll just I'll just get a good picture of that so people yeah. can read about it. It's too many words for me, but it's about something else. I'll just look round and show them. So just outside the Heritage Centre, which is short, there's a sign. Yeah. Just saw this, Mazzy. Yeah. This is talk about that statue over there, that's who it is, Annie Moore. Yeah. I'll have to look her up, see what it's about. There might be a documentary about her. The first emigrant to be processed in Ellis Island. I still don't know what that's trying to say, really. I don't understand it. I don't know. It's people who were emigrating over to America a long time before that, I don't know. Uh, that's the opening times. Completely ignore them. Because it's shut until at least 29th of March. 30th. 30th year. Ooh. Yeah. There's an awful lot of roadworks going on, building around here. It's very noisy. Anyway, we've arrived, Mazzy. Here we are at the John F. Kennedy Park. Yes. Go on, after you. It's shot. What do you mean it's shot? Coronavirus. We're not oh, allowed in the park. No. They've actually closed the little parky bit. That's ridiculous. What reason could they have for closing that? There's a few statues in here I'd have liked to have seen, or we'd have liked to have seen, sorry. Beautiful bandstand, very Victorian. But we can't get in, that is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. It's probably open about the 29th of March at the very earliest, Mazzy. Oh, sick of it. <laughs> we can get in, Mazzy. I know. I never thought I'd get excited to go into a park. This is very nice though, isn't it? It does look quite nice. I just love that bandstand. The detail on that is beautiful, all wrought iron. Cannon here, what's that all about? No signs, so I don't know what that's all about. What's Mazzy found? This is quite unusual, really. Usually Mazzy would be the one going over to the cannon and I'd <laughs> yeah. be reading the signs. What do the signs say, Mazzy? Anything well, the park has been here since 1865, which I find really interesting. And, yeah, I'll get back to you. Well, that's just stupid, <laughs> isn't it? Why? Well, it's called the President John F. Kennedy Memorial Park. Yeah. Why are they calling it that if it's from the 1800s? He wasn't alive then. I don't know, but I'll tell you another fact. What? The bandstand costs four hundred pounds. <laughs> four hundred pounds. Yeah, it's really interesting, isn't it? I wonder where they got it from. If anyone's interested in the bandstand, they're selling them for four hundred pounds somewhere. Playgrounds shut, Mazzy. I just don't understand it, but like, all the kids are from school at the moment, and they can't even go and play in a playground outside. Well, it's the coronavirus, Mazzy. They, they probably can about the 30th of March. Until then, yeah, you've just got to sit tight. You can sit on bench and wait. You can't go on anything. I do like this anyway. This caught my eye. Look, what do you think of that? A lamp post? Yes, it's an old Victorian lamp post which they've painted up. Yeah, Very nice. Right, this is called the Navigator. Yeah. It's a fountain. It's not on at the moment because of the coronavirus, probably. <laughs> um, it's a man in a boat holding an origami boat. Not sure what that's all about. Not the prettiest of men I've ever seen, I'll be honest with you. But it's, yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> you are joking. You no, know, and it's free. A telescope yeah. on the seafront, which you don't have to pay for. Oh my god, that's actually really good, babe. They're normally 20 pence ago, these things. Yeah. That's <laughs> well <so> good. <laughs> I found one. I found one. <laughs> Truly scrumptious caterers. I'm going to get an hot dog. I'm going to get an hot dog, Mazzy. <laughs> you reckon? Oh, it's short. Coffee and home bacon, truly scrumptious. It's shut, Mazzy, it's shut. <laughs> Gutted. So this is the Titanic Experience Museum. It's shut at the moment, Mazzy. Until yeah. 29th of March at the very earliest. Same as pubs. Um, I've read it's really good, is this? I'd like to... You uh, actually wanted to do this yeah, one, didn't you? Yeah, I would have done this. I would have done this. And there's actually a Titanic walk as well. You get like a guided walk yeah, around. Yeah, I've heard about that. Apparently that's meant to be good. Yeah, I'd have liked to have done that, but... Yeah. Never mind, never mind. So just quick sweep round of the town. What do you think that is, babe? A cathedral or 
It's really high up, isn't it? Looks like a cathedral. Very nice. Yeah, there's, oh. there's actually two. There's another one over there somewhere, but oh, I've yeah. never seen such pointy spires on churches or whatever they are. Really pointy. I just saw another monument thing. Who's she? Oh, wow, Sonia O'Sullivan. Oh, you know her? Yeah, Irish runner. She's absolutely fantastic, oh, or she was. So I didn't know she came from here. She came from here, Mazzy. International athlete and local hero. She was. Oh, that's okay. Don't know if she ever won anything at the Olympics, but she was very, very good. I liked her. Didn't see this a minute ago, but there she is. She was the world champion. She was in the Olympics, but she wasn't an Olympic champion, but she was the world champion. That's really good. What year? Does it say? It says what she won and when she won. Here, look, the Roll of Honour. Um, oh, I'm not sure. World Championship Gold, 1995. The only shop which is open. A traditional sweet shop. Oh it's the only God. one which is going to cost me a lot of money. I can I can sense this. <laughs> sweet shop, traditional sweets. Oh wow! No sweets for Mazzy. No. It was open. But it wasn't really. What was it? Was it was, she had like a whole desk in front of the doorway, so you couldn't enter. You'd have to tell her what you wanted. Yeah. I don't know what I want. I want. I want to have a look. <laughs> so no, no sweets again. <laughs> you know how you get seagulls. Yeah. And you get the certain. You know, there's some cocky people in the world, isn't there? There's no such thing as seagulls. They've all got different names. There's loads of different kind of gulls. I don't know that, but yeah. yeah they, do. they do. If you just say seagull, they the don't seagull. like it. Right, OK. And this is why. There's actually 11 different kinds there. Wow. You've got the great black-backed buck gull, the lesser black-backed -back gull, Ross's gull, Iceland gull, little gull, herring gull, laughing gull, black-headed gull, and common gull, and kitty wake. I'll be honest, I just thought they were seagulls. <laughs> Yeah, so did I. They all look the same. Just here, you can buy tickets to go to Spike Island, which is what I wanted to do. I think it's like, well, it's an old fort and a cemetery for some prisoners or something. Yeah, yeah. That would have been amazing. Yeah. A boat trip over to there. <laughs> Can't imagine it would have been cheap, but it's something I'd have certainly done if it was open. Just been reading here about Spike Island, because I don't know anything about it. But I did read here, Mazzy. Yeah? In the 1850s, it was the world's largest prison. Wow. That's quite cool, isn't it? They had 2,500 yeah. convicts there. Oh, wow. Oh. What is it, honey? It's a sign for Centra, you know, the supermarket. No, this, this nice, beautiful. Look oh, at this. I don't know, they're all tiles. Tiles. They're like school kid things, are they? I don't think they are school kids. No. They're too good for school kids. Oh, <gasps> cheeky. Oh, what's this one? Look, this bit. Yeah, some of them actually have photos on. Look at that, all the coffins yeah, in there. Yeah, that's what I was just showing, yeah. I don't know what it's about. It's the Lusitania. Lusitania, the ship which got sunk by the German U boat. Oh. Um, that will have been the funeral for them. Look at that. Oh, do you know what I'm guessing then? What? Maybe each of these are like the names of everybody that died. Like here, look, like James Cody, age 50 feet, three. Fireman. Fireman. Yeah, yeah, it looks that way. Could they? Yeah, I think you're right. The Cork Harbour Tragedy. Mm. 1942. Never heard about this, have you? No, there seems to be a lot of tragedies here, don't there? It's a sad story, though. Well, did you read it? I did, sort of, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture up of it properly. But what I do notice, it says there was one survivor who managed to swim to Spike Island, guided by the flashing light of Spit Bank. That is the light of Spit Bank. Oh! That's quite cool, that's quite mem memorable. Yeah. Yeah, they've got all. Uh, memorial things here for it's them, nice so they're still, they're still remembered. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. When you said we needed to empty that, I didn't realise how bad it was, honey. <laughs> you, know, you keep saying to me, we need a shower, I need a shower, let's have a shower. And I said, you can't have a shower until we release some water. Yeah. I don't know what happens to the water once it gets to that level. No, Does I it just don't. trickle out of the side or something? I don't know. 
or does the van eventually blow up? I think it would empty out of a pipe. Yeah. Is they're... there anyone who knows this? Would it just empty out of like a an, an overflow. overflow pipe? Or would it literally go under the floorboards and leak? Leak, I don't know. So yeah, you can't have a shower unfortunately, Mazzy, until we empty that. It's the morning after. It is indeed. So good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> we've moved on about a mile. That's yeah. all we've gone. <laughs> Um, there was a motorhome park next to us, and he said, did you pay last night? I says, yeah, yeah. Paid for the last two nights. Mm -hmm. says, oh, you didn't have to. He says, spoke to the traffic warden, and he says, because the machines haven't been cleaned, you, we're not expecting anyone to pay. No. So that's uh, pretty cool, isn't that it, is for other cool. people? <laughs> um, yeah, we've just moved on to the seashore. We're just going to go for a quiet walk, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, that'd be nice. It's very cold. Very horrible weather, but... The we'll weather's make the most certainly of it. changed today, hasn't mm. it? Yeah, we'll make the most of it, it'll be good. Yeah. Just a quick walk. Right, we've just popped into Super Value, haven't we? Just to get us for some essentials. Just fancy egg sandwiches tonight, to be honest. This is what I love about Ireland. They have all this freshly made in store stuff. Yeah. Oh, this, you, know, you don't get this in Britain. So I just want to show you what Dan means, look. You get all this lovely fresh stuff. Check this cake section out, guys. <laughs> Frere Rocher one there. They're so good. And the meals, the meals in Ireland, what they have to offer are amazing, aren't look they? Look at look. Beef stir fry. Oh, really beef nice. burgers, look at them. Oh, gosh, yeah. Only 10 euros for a pack of toilet roll. Now, is that me? Babe, ten you only I ten don't euros. Have a good quality toilet roll. <laughs> I think that's the most important time of the day. Complete change of plans. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some days you get to a spot and you're filming and you're thinking, yeah, we've got to do this. We'll get a good vlog up. We've had enough. It's too cold. Yeah. It's too cold to go out there in the cold. Uh, so we're just going to call that a, a day. You, you know, it's about seventeen minutes long. That'll do, Mazzy. We've got a vlog up tonight for you guys. You know, what more do you want? <laughs> there'll be parts of it what they'll like, won't they? Yeah. And we'll, we'll start afresh tomorrow. But yeah, we're just going to buckle down now. It's too it's cold. Nice. I was just going to say, sorry guys, it hasn't been that great today. But I think, unfortunately, that this is going to be the case from now on. I don't think it's that. What do you think I think we're is? still going to be travelling around... Um, we're just waiting for your prescription to turn <laughs> that up. That is never going to come. And then we'll, it is. <laughs> and then we're going to drive back up to Killarney, pick yeah. that up, and then we're going to do a little road trip around the, the coast. There's okay. no villages, no people in the middle of nowhere. We're going to be doing that. Um, but for today, mm. sorry, that's the end of it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all tomorrow, bright and early and fresh and ready to go on Mother's Day tomorrow. Oh! Mother's Day. See you all later. Bye bye. Love y'all. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.